Tech tip number two. Here are a few things you can do to help you in diagnosing an electrical fault due to a bad connector. This here is the tried and true wiggle test. If you can make a problem come and go by wiggling the connector, you probably have a problem with that connector. Additional things you can do to help you narrow down the problem, perform a pin fitment test. Using the correct tool, there should be a little drag going in and out of those pins. Do a visual inspection of the pins. Removing the pin lock helps you to get a better visual. You can see that once I've got the lock removed on mine, there's a pin inside there that has a little bit of corrosion on it. It's the second one from the end, that one right there. This connector will either have to be replaced or repinned. Yet another thing you can check for is the pin crimp on the back of the pin. In some instances, you'll find that the pin isn't crimped on the wire well enough. You'll have a few strands of wire in the pin, but not enough to make good contact. Many times you can find this problem by giving the wires on the back of the connector a light tug. Just a few things for you guys. Hope it helped.